Okay, I'm recording again since only it took more than one hour. Okay, then I will upload a file. The name will be you need the file, you need the name for it. Then uh, presentation. Then let me upload the file from. I want to upload my presentation in PDF and then save and return. And you have this. To change the name, you can just edit the title and stuff. And what else? If you want to make a folder, you can. You can make a folder. And call folder. And within this folder, you can upload many files. You can upload multiple files and the folder itself will contain many files. And I think that's it. So now let me make a, an account as a user. Let me make a student account. Name student manual account. Yes. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. First name student. 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 Okay, create a user. Okay, then I made a student account. Now I must enroll that student into the course. Go back to the course. And then participants. No one. Enroll user. I forgot how to add a user here. Maybe I have to go to the course and then anything more. Okay, users, here it is. Maybe I should go to enrolled users. Here it is. You can, from here, you can enroll a user. Enroll as a student. No, I can enroll myself. I'll enroll myself as the manager. And finish enrolling. Okay, then let me to test. Let's look at the student's per perspective. Logout. 
login student and and I'm enrolled into this course and this is the material I can read and in this discussion forum I can make a discussion forum or I can make a new discussion topic here I can make a discussion maybe image is something 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 and you can make proper file but here you can make a discussion for example then you can submit some assignment and you can make an online text submission or you can submit by a file for example let me just submit submit a picture or you can do both maybe you can say this is my own design that's an example though submit and now it's submitted for grading and on the quiz I can take a quiz then a quiz now I'll take this one and finish a theme and submit all and finish and looks like almost I got 6 out of 10 or 60 out of 100 that's the example then here is a link click the link to open on resource now open Google as a link And here is a some of a presentation slide. Since it's PDF, my browser can open. Here you can download. If it's a file that cannot be opened by a browser, it will automatically download. And that is the perspective as a student. Now let's go back as being a teacher or for me as a manager. And if you remember, the student have submitted an assignment. As a teacher, you can grade an assignment. Great. And here is the, this is my own design. You can make God, there are many stuff you can yell you can oh you can make a great cancel uh, I even I don't know how to do this yet but I'll grade myself 70 for example if you can give up you get a uh, good and save changes and there I have made a grade, a grading. I have grade the uh, assignment of one of my students. That is, for example. Okay, another hand is uh, as a manager. You can back up your course, for example. Here is whatever if you're okay just jump to the final step wait you can do the next next look here is the file so for example this is a you can download your file 
and here you can you can share your course with others this one for example if you accidentally do something or you want to revert or you want to share this course with someone else go to your course let's for example did settings ah, sorry turn editing on let's delete everything yeah let's delete the week yes and now I have nothing but I have a backup I can always back up on this course so when you attend on this course you can restore if there's a backup file here or you can upload a backup file that you have choose a file upload the file browse is under download and is this one and upload this file restore and there you want to restore it as a new course or nope so this is also also a trap it's kind of misleading if you continue you do this one but i want to restore into this code much the backup course into this course or delete the content of this course up to you if you just want to have the similar one as the backup content use this one delete the content of this course and then restore or restore into existing course and then next perform restore the restore was completely success and other than that now going up for example that if you if someone give you a share your course content in in the form of a backup you can restore the course go to courses remember this upload course is different i don't know what this is but i don't usually use this what i use is a restore course restore a course and here i have my own course which i made by myself my original course from another website here i want to upload it here as well yes upload this file and then restore and here i have a rich content and continue restore as a new course yes i'll restore as a new course continue or maybe i have to choose a category as well okay this one is whatever you choose the setting that choose you that suit you best and this is the name of my course over there and then this is the short name and here is what data that will be restored and then next and then finally my course will be restored on this model website continue and here it is this is the course that i created here is just a general overview of uh, the course i have three topics in the course which is a uh, computer programming computer network and penetration testing and I made my course in form of a topics not weekly and in each
topic I have a course outline a material there is a discussion forum and I have few assignments and there is a project glossary and there is a wiki and some simple stuff you want to see what my learning content is like here is one example maybe this one is quite cool here you can post a material like this with me here you can post a youtube video but this is only a link to my youtube or you can post a gif image that moves like this and in the learning content i also have a quiz did uh, no 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 preview i go to next exercise and then i make a match the i make a i made a matching quiz consists of two pc it is a peer-to-peer -peer network consists of more than two pc and a switch it is a local area network consists of two lands and more it is a one submit and this is the answer right answer and that is a simple i have a rich content here and one last thing let me do a backup of this i uh, remember that i demonstrate a backup to the full just jump to the final step let's for let's see the full step here you can choose which content you want to back up which one you don't want whether you want to include user data or not so yeah, you can select all select none all and whatever but normally i never include user data if you just uh, sharing contents then user data is not but if you are backing up to another server then you'll probably need this but for now let's back up everything and then next and the, and here is a confirmation this is what will be back up back top if you don't agree cancel or go to previous then perform a backup and finally you will have your backup in the backup area okay ah, this one yes and ladies and gentlemen that is the end of my tutorial of using Moodle on Ubuntu this is a very long video one hour and 20 minutes but this is the process that is uh, needed to do it and let's see if there's anything that i need to do before i go and by the way i made this video creative common in youtube you may download it Yeah, I'm allow you to download it, but oh well. And so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching the video.